My name is Stephen Ball, and I lead government relations for the Northeast at Wells Fargo, uh, including right here in Massachusetts and, and right here in Brockton. So we're here this afternoon alongside Mayor Carpenter of Brockton, also Robert Corley, uh, Executive Director of NeighborWorks Southern Mass, and members of our Wells Fargo team. We have Janet Bradshaw as well. Um, and we've gathered to announce the launch of Neighborhood Lift, a Wells Fargo program dedicated to advancing home ownership for individuals and families in this community. At Wells Fargo, you know, you hear a lot about us these days, but uh, the truth is we care a lot about being part of the solution for revitalizing our communities. We also care about making home ownership more affordable and sustainable, and we know that right now with a tight housing market, that's more important than ever. So often the key to buying a home is the ability to make a down payment and the, the Wells Fargo Neighborhood Lift Program does just that. Of course, it requires a great deal of time and expertise to coordinate this event and we're so glad to have NeighborWorks Southeast Mass as our nonprofit partner for this program. They've been a wonderful partner in this and uh, just invaluable in all the work that they've done to help, this, help get this off the ground. <clears throat> So to tell you more about the program and the collaboration between his organization, Wells Fargo, please welcome Robert Corley, the Executive Director of NeighborWorks Southeast Mass. Thank you. Good afternoon. So um, I have the honor and the privilege to uh, help announce uh, that $6 million is coming to the region here for down payment assistance. Um, as mentioned, my name is Rob Corley. I'm the Executive Director of NeighborWorks Southern Mass. Um, and it's my privilege and honor, and I want to thank uh, Wells Fargo and the Wells Fargo Foundation and Mayor Carpenter uh, for making this possible. And um, NeighborWorks has been operating here in Brockton at the Harbor One Multicultural and Banking Center for over 10 years with some of our amazing staff who is here. Um, and at that center, we provide home buyer education, foreclosure counseling, and many other uh, housing services. And uh, I remember when the mayor first took office uh, here in Brockton, um, I sat down and we had a conversation in his office right over here. And uh, we talked about home ownership and how important that was to him. And I made him aware of what we were doing in the city and what we would like to do in the city. And down payment was one of those things. And at that time, the mayor said, I want to commit some down payment funds to anything we can get to help people buy a home in Brockton. And true to his word, about six months later, we had a down payment assistance program here in Brockton. Because of that kind of commitment from the mayor, um, we're able to build up the numbers of people that we're educating and the home buyers that we're helping here in Brockton, and it allows us to leverage uh, support like this from Wells Fargo. So when they see the work that we're doing here in Brockton, they understand this is a place to invest in, and that's when something like a $6 million type of investment can come and be made available here to folks in Brockton. This down payment program will also partner nicely with the existing down payment program that's here in Brockton, so to be even more beneficial to people who buy in Brockton. Okay, so Mayor, I want to thank you for this specifically, because without that type of support, we wouldn't be able to be operating in Brockton like we have been for the last five years to make this possible. And I'm so honored and proud to announce this first here in the City of Champions. So thank you, Mayor. So there's a few things that I must read you, okay? So how do you get involved? How does this work? So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta come to our website, uh, www.nwsoma.org, and you can find out more information, okay? So I'm going to read now, sorry. There are some requirements that I'd like to outline. The down payment assistant is targeted to those with certain income levels in the Brockton area. And for Brockton, it's a family that makes $87,100 per year. So that's if you're a single person or a family of four. Okay, so if you're a single person, $87,100 is your income limit to be qualified to receive $20,000 in down payment assistance. And the way that that works is it's a five-year forgivable loan. It's zero interest, it's deferred, no payments. You understand that. So it's a second mortgage, a third mortgage. You can use it. It's very flexible. It's amazing, amazing funding. You use for closing costs, down payment assistance, any part of the transaction. So it's, it's very flexible. So another key point 
is that for military service members, veterans, teachers, law enforcement officials, firefighters, and emergency medical technicians, I see we have a few here today, the down payment assistance amount is actually $22,500, so there's additional money for those members I just mentioned. Second part of this is homebuyers home buyers must complete an eight-hour HUD-approved education class or session. We offer those here, right here in Brockton. We offer them all around the state, face-to-face -face or online, or a combination of both. So that's another requirement of the program. Home buyers must be able to qualify for a mortgage, and this is key, that they can truly afford, okay? That they can qualify for a mortgage, they can truly afford. That's very important to us, and that's why we value this partnership with an organization such as ours that does consumer protection and home buyer education. And home buyers must be on track to purchase a home within 60 days. So if you get a reservation for this money, you need to come to us with a purchase and sale within 60 days to qualify for the down payment. Okay, and lastly, we have an event. It's called the Neighborhood Lift Event. We're having that at the Sheridan in Boston, the Sheridan Boston Hotel on Saturday, uh, sorry, on Friday and Saturday, June 29th and 30th. Uh, Walk-ins are accepted there, so you'll find out more information on our website, as I mentioned, www.nwsoma.org. Um, but we encourage folks that are interested in this funding to come to our website and to definitely come to the launch and get a reservation for this money, okay? With that, I want to thank you again, and I'm very, very excited to be here today, and it's my pleasure to introduce the great mayor of the city of Brockton, Mayor Bill Carpenter. Oh, am I supposed to? No? Am I supposed to? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm excited to see what he has to say about this. I'm very excited to hear him, so please. Thanks. Yeah. We, we'll save the best for last. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everyone, and a special thanks again to Steve Ball, Robert Corley, and of course the mayor, Carpenter, and everyone else who has partnered with us and helped us prepare for this program in Massachusetts. My name is Moy Lopez, and I'm part of the Wells Fargo Home Mortgage Team in Quincy, and I cover the South Shore. We want the impact of this program to be broad and wide. We want to touch families here in Brockton and throughout Essex, Middlesex, Suffolk, Norfolk, and Plymouth counties. We want to help people buy homes for their families and have their investment under this, their belt so that they can build their financial futures. This is what this program is all about. The, this Eastern Massachusetts neighborhood lift marks the 60th time Wells Fargo has hosted this program throughout the country. Since February of 2012, Wells Fargo lift program has committed over $376 million and we help create more than 17,600 new homeowners. In every market that this has been provided, this has been a welcome boost to qualifying home buyers who are in pursuit of their home ownership dreams. I am honored that we are able to make home ownership more affordable and help the hardworking families of Brockton achieve this milestone. And with that, here comes the best. Yeah. I'd like to introduce the Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter of the City of Brockton. They don't understand that usually at these events, I've got the microphone and I call them up. So um, it, it is really an exciting day for the City of Brockton today. I want to welcome all our friends from Wells Fargo and from NeighborWorks and uh, Rob, I do really appreciate your comments. Uh, it's true that uh, the city and NeighborWorks, NeighborWorks was already here doing good work in the city, but I think over the last five years, we've really been able to expand the mission. Um, we've partnered together on income tax prep programs for low and moderate income families. Uh, we've put together with the help of the BRA and some federal funds, some HUD funds, uh, our own 
uh, not quite as ambitious down payment assistance program. Uh, and most recently, and I want to make sure I mention this because it's going to tailor beautifully uh, with the neighborhood lift program with Wells Fargo, um, the Get the Let Out program, where we just recently received over $3 million in funding from HUD uh, to be distributed right here in the city of Brockton over the next three years uh, to help both uh, new and existing homeowners mediate lead paint in their property. And I mention that and why this uh, neighborhood program is, is so important to a city like Brockton. And um, Steve, I've got to tell you that the, just this past weekend, we saw you guys at the U.S. Conference of Mayors. And uh, at the U.S. Conference of Mayors, Wells Fargo actually presented this neighborhood lift program. They showed what they've been doing with it nationally, and they actually did a great presentation on Atlanta, where you had recently uh, uh, launched this program. And as excited as I was, having been briefed a few times leading up to today, uh, to actually see firsthand testimonials from families that were attaining home ownership that they would not have been able to do if not for that extra help over the, over the bar uh, with this program. And I think Brockton, my only question, Steve, is what took you so long to get here? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but it's a perfect fit. It's a perfect fit for a city like Brockton because we have a lot of hardworking people who work hard, pay their bills, they rent, and they want to own. And they get close, but usually the biggest obstacle is the down payment and closing costs. That, yeah, they're working hard and they're paying their bills, but they're really finding it hard to save up enough to have that lump sum down payment. And now those folks, you know, a lot of those folks will qualify for this program, and this will be the money that gets them over the bar and allows them to own their own home. But I think it's also very important to know um, that this is not a first-time home buyer program. It's, it's, it's eligible to all home buyers that meet the, the requirements. And when you think about $87,000 of household income, we're talking about a lot, a lot of the working families in the city of Brockton that don't go over that. And when Cindy came in to brief me the other day, one of the things I thought was really interesting is the income of the borrowers. So there could be another resident in the household who's working, but if they're not signing the note, their income isn't included. So it, it, it makes it even, it's even more aggressive and more ambitious than it might even sound. Um, so we are just um, really excited. I think is, and the home buyer education piece is a real important piece of this too, and this is where Neighbor Works comes in. Um, because, man, if we learned one lesson in the um, foreclosure crisis, it was that a lot of folks didn't understand what they were doing when they were buying houses. They were just buying a house and signing a lot of documents that they didn't necessarily really understand what those documents said. And that's how a lot of folks got in trouble. And I think that the way we prevent that from happening again is with good, home buyer education so that before the person is in the process making the purchase that they get the opportunity to really, really know what they're doing and uh, work with qualified professionals. So, you know, Brockton's a city of opportunity. Um, people come to Brockton for the opportunity to start their own business. They come here for the opportunity to send their kids to a great public school system. Um, and a lot of families come to Brockton, as I did, for the opportunity to purchase th their own home. And you look at as much as our prices have gone up and we are benefiting uh, from the real estate market, compared to most other communities in metropolitan Boston, we are one of the most affordable places to live. And I can tell you we are definitely the most affordable place to live that's a 30-minute commuter train into South Station. And, uh, and we can see folks coming this way. And we're building market value, market rate housing here in the downtown. And I really think this program, for the folks who jump in, but you've got to jump in right now. You've got to be at this event on the 29th to be eligible. There's a process you've got to go through. So you've got a couple weeks to get your stuff together, get ready. And if it's a half a day, if it's a full day, whatever it is, it's going to be well worth the investment to get in there and have the opportunity to participate in over $6 million of down payment assistance in the greater Boston area. So I want to just personally thank Wells Fargo and NeighborWorks for bringing this program to Brockton, for making it available. 
uh, to families uh, and individuals here in the city of Brockton, and we look forward to continuing to partner with you. Thank you. Before I turn it right back over, I just want to acknowledge that uh, State Senator Mike Brady and State Representative Claire Cronin are here with us. Uh, thank you so much, Mayor Carpenter. And, and one thing I'd add is that, you know, we're really looking to get some, some VIP elected official attendance on uh, the 29th. So if you're free then, I hate to put you on the spot, um, but we'd love to see you. I'm not free, but I'm a And also uh, the, the senator and, and the representative, we'd love to see you as well uh, if you have any time on the, on the 29th. And I can also follow up with you and your staff about that. Um, so that, that essentially ends our formal presentation, but we would be happy to take any questions uh, that folks may have about the program. Sure. Could you talk a little bit about the eligibility in terms of either credit score or debt ratios? How does that work? Uh, Robert, do you have the detail yeah. on that? So uh, I can talk about it. Isn't this room beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So sure, sure. So this this is a second mortgage product. Uh, so it's going to dovetail with a first mortgage product. So you have to be bankable uh, according to a first mortgage product. So it's pretty much the industry standard as far as credit and savings and income are concerned. For us, it's a second mortgage product and the income requirement is important, which as I mentioned before, and the mayor mentioned, which is a very key point, is that it's the person on the note, not necessarily the household. And could I just follow up for the folks that are going to go to the event on the 29th? Mm -hmm. Should they Yes, they, I, they actually should bring, yes, they should bring form, if they have a pre-approval from a, a lender, they should bring that, but also they should bring their, their income, so they should bring their documents, like you would if you were going to get pre-qualified um, for any first mortgage. But you want to add and some? Asset. And asset documents. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Yes, looking forward to it. So thank you very much, and thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Wells. Really, really appreciate it. This is wonderful. Thank you.